Well, the Port Aranda School District was supposed to have started classes in late August. But then came Harvey scattering Port A students and teachers across the coastal bend. Thanks for joining us on this Wednesday. Leaders in the Port Aransas ISD want to bring all of those displaced students and teachers back to their home district. Now, there will be plenty of reminders of the chaos caused by Harvey, but the district is working very hard to make it as close to a normal school year as possible. Our Jane Caffrey joins us live from the Port Aransas High School tonight. And Jane, how are the preparations going out there? Well, these students should be back in a little more than two weeks on October 16th, and that's possible because of these portable buildings where they'll be taking classes. But storm damage has hit all of the schools here, and that makes a full recovery difficult. Ethan King is a Port Aransas High School student, but after Harvey, he's starting his sophomore year at Flower Bluff High. He's a Marlin. He, he can't wait to get back. And the school district is just as eager to welcome Ethan and others like him back. I check on them every week. But the district's schools still have a lot of damage, mostly on roofs, walls, and floors. Brand new high school gym floors are now ruined. Just finished the first week of school, and so I think they got maybe two practices in before the hurricane hit. With all the damage, students will be returning to classrooms that look like this. These portables provide 52 classrooms. They can hold all of the district's 520 students. I think having our students back here, back home, will be a real boost for our entire community. And the students will be riding these buses donated from as far as San Antonio. All this costs a lot, so the district hopes for funding from FEMA, insurance, and the state. Just leasing the portables for a year. It'll be close to half a million dollars. And at a recent city council meeting, city staff said Port Aransas Kansas ISD could lose up to 20% of its enrollment. Students and families, um, because of necessity, are having to move elsewhere. But we we have contacted the vast majority of them, and, and they're ready to come home. For Ethan, who's kept up basketball practices over at Flower Bluff. He hasn't missed a beat with basketball. Going back is still the plan. It's just nice to have that sense of community back and to, to be together again and with all the teachers and their friends. Now, high school and elementary school students should be back in their regular classrooms by January, but the middle school was hardest hit, and those students could remain in the portables through the end of the school year. Reporting live in Port Aransas, Jane Caffrey, Chris 6 News. Thank you.